The artist album's in its real early stages at the moment, you know, a mixture of, you know, down tempo, you know, club based records and radio um, edge records. Um, very electronic influenced is with, with lots of hooks, you know, there's a bit of French house thrown in, you know, there's a bit of, um, you know, almost dubstep music, you know, just to have a variety on the album and to try and expose, you know, the, the variation of as MYNC as a production outfit really on, on, on one album. The master room next door, which we're you know, sat opposite, is, is responsible and our engineer Richard Searle, you know, mixes down and masters a lot of our records. Um, and we use, you know, specialist mastering plants sometimes in Germany, depending on the sound of the records. Um, we just like to make records sound big in clubs. MYNC, the, the brand, you know, was uh, originally a, a four deck, two mixer um, setup. We played on vinyl, four turntables. Um, a Pioneer mixer and an EFX 500 back then seems so ancient now I think I've still got it in my cupboard and it still works um, you know as obviously times progressed and and we've evolved as, as, as DJs and as an act we've uh, moved more into digital sort of DJing now now using the CDJ 2000s uh, with the EFX 1000 and the Pioneer DJM 800 all together um, you know mixing on four turntables with lots of effects acapellas thrown in you know using the effect. Uh, echo using you know the flan section you know as much of the EQ as we can um, and to try and be as creative as possible on the mixer so really I mean m musically you know we both had similar tastes in music um, so it, it wasn't difficult to kind of blend records together you know obviously you'd have to make sure that the beats sounded correctly because back in those days there were no such things as mixed in key so everything was done you know manually and you know by sound you know if it sounded right then you could mix them together there's something that we're starting to do as a, as a label is to give away, you know, free parts for, for kids to remix and new producers. I think, you know, the whole um, you know, ethos is now going into a club and just hearing DJs play records. It doesn't really happen anymore. You know, for me, it's all about being creative. You know, I get excited about hearing DJs, you know, using acapellas, using beats and, and different effects and, and loops and stems from other people's records. You know, DJs like Soul Wax, I think, you know, were the pioneers of that originally to start, you know, cutting up other people's records and making mashups and bootlegs. Obviously, 10 years ago, when I first obviously got into the record business, you know, vinyl was a huge part of, of what we did. You know, we sold thousands and thousands of units. I think Eric Prince's first EP, I think, sold 45,000 copies on vinyl. <laughs> and that doesn't happen anymore. Um, so, yeah, it gradually has changed. You know, the, the modern technology, now DJs using the CDJ 2000s and 1000s, playing off MP3s. Um, yeah, the, the music industry has evolved, you know, and I think it, it's actually for the best. You know, there's still a vinyl market there for you know, dedicated buyers. But, you know, the, the great thing now about, you know, digitally DJing is, you know, the availability of music and back catalogues, you know, which a lot of the download sites are now starting to embrace, you know, which means you, you can have a lot more longevity on your catalogue, um, you know, uh, and, and re-promote records that maybe, you know, should have been bigger than what they were when you, you first signed them. Um, you know, the whole digital revolution now is, is just incredible, I think, you know, it's, it's just going from strength to strength. Um, any advice for up and coming producers? Yes, definitely. Stick with what you believe in, you know, never accept, never say no, never say, accept no for an answer. Um, and be passionate, really, you know, if you really believe in something, you know, continue to work on that and, you know, and, and be passionate because one you know, one day you will get that phone call from a record label, you know, or your, or your favorite DJ, you know, giving you praise for, for your record. So stick with it 100%. Stay passionate.